So we're back again with another page speed testing video. This time we're comparing five plugins. We're taking the winner from our last page speed testing video, which was Lightspeed Cache, and comparing it to four other ones to see if we get a new winner. And these are the results we have right here. This very first one is with no caching plugin installed. And this one on the right is the fastest caching plugin that we discovered in this test. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. Before we test the new plugins versus Lightspeed Fastest Cache, which was the champion of the previous video, we need to get a baseline of how fast our site is or how slow it is without any caching plugins. To do that, I'm just going to go to PageSpeed Insights, enter our website URL. I have no caching plugins installed at this time. I mean, they're installed, they're not activated at this moment. And so this would be just our site, vanilla, no caching. And the results are not fantastic. Also not the worst I've seen. But on mobile, we have a 19 and a 6.1 second for the first con of full paint and 2.1 for the first con of full paint on desktop. And the reason I look at that one, that's really the only one I worry about, is because the entire reason you want a fast site is so they don't bounce off and go to a different search result. And what keeps them from bouncing is seeing something happening. If they just see a blank screen for too long, they're going to bounce. So we want to have our first content full paint, which is the first time they see any content to happen as quickly as possible. We can see screenshots down here where the content is just not coming. It's just a blank screen for 6.1 seconds, and then we get something. That's a long time. We want to have stuff showing up as soon as possible. For desktop, we have even more blank screens, but it's only 2.1 seconds. Either way, we want to have the first content full paint appearing fast as possible. So the first plugin we're going to try out is W3 Total Cache. I have it installed already. I set it up already. All I'm going to do is activate it and test it. I can make separate videos for each of these plugins, how I set them up. And basically what I did is I ran the most strict caching I could. So if there is the ability to defer JavaScript, I would. Defer CSS, I would. Combine JavaScript and CSS, I would do it. Minify HTML, I would do it. Every single setting that allows us to make our site faster, I just turned on. Then I come back out to the site and I would refresh and test it to make sure it still works. And caching plugins often add a file that's named this. Different plugins will add the exact same file to your hosting account. W3 will allow us to just remove it. I'm just gonna say yes, remove it for me. And this is something that you probably won't experience unless you're testing a bunch of different caching plugins. So now that file's removed, let's come back out here and refresh the page to make sure it all still works and it's all still here. Looks fine to me, let's copy the URL. If there was a problem with the page, say the images are all wacky or the spacing is gone or the entire thing is white, just a blank page, then I go back into the plugin and I choose different settings. Right now I'm on the strictest settings. Every single caching setting I could turn on for W3, I turned on. And then if it broke something, I'd go back and turn those off. So we have a functioning website and then I test the functioning website. As it stands right now, this website is just fine. So let's test W3 total cache. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. And we're at 34 and 3.6. That's almost half. It was 6.1 before for mobile. Now it's 3.6 and we got an orange square. So that's a good start. Under desktop we're at 89 and one second. That's pretty solid. And while I paused the video while this was running, I tested this three times in three different tabs and I picked the best result that I got. I didn't average them. I just picked out of those three that I ran the best one. So those are the results for W3. We're gonna keep these here as they are. And then we are going to disable W3 and activate WP Super Cache. This one's disabled by default whenever you activate it. So we gotta to go to the plugin admin page and turn it on caching on, there are not very many settings for WP Super Cache. So when I make the video showing the settings for WP Super Cache, there won't be much going on. But now it's on, caching is on. Let's refresh to make sure the page still works. It's still here, everything's fine. Let's run this in a new tab of PageSpeed Insights and see what we get. And we are quite a bit slower than we are for the original. We're at 17 instead of 19 for the mobile and original, I believe it was. Yeah, 19, 6.1 seconds. 
and we're at 17 and 5.4 seconds. And I ran this three times again, and I took the best one. And this was the best one. So WP Super Cache didn't do a whole lot. But what's funny is it seems to vary from site to site, server to server, setup to setup. So I've got these results for this site, but you might get different results that are much better on your site. So that's the reason I would make videos for settings on all these plugins, because the one that works best for you might not be the one that works best for me. And that brings up the next question, why would you even watch this video if you gotta try them all out yourself anyway? Well, in this video, we're testing versus the best one I've found, which is Lightspeed Cache, which is the one that turned out best for me and my site with my settings on my current shared server, and it might also be the best for you. So you don't want to start with whatever gave me the best results. Start by trying that one out on your site. And then if it doesn't give you results that are anywhere near what I got or results that are just abysmal, then you try the second best one and you carry on like that. But chances are the one that works out best for me will likely work out best for you. So WP Super Cache was not amazing. We're now going to try WP Hyper Cache. Where am I going? Plugins. Install plugins. Let's deactivate WP Super Cache, and let's activate Hypercache. This plugin, this plugin is kind of scary to install. It's not been updated in two years, but I found it when doing a bunch of research on the best caching plugins, and this one came up. So even though it's super old, I'm still installing it on a live site and hoping it works. It doesn't break anything. It's, it appears to have worked just fine on the homepage. But this is not one I'd recommend installing unless the results are amazing, then you try it out. But if the results are just eh, then Hypercache might be one to avoid because it hasn't been updated in so long. We got a 25, a higher score, but a much slower load time at 7.7 .7 seconds. And on desktop, we're 2.8 seconds. So it's still not great. It's still not something you want to have on your site, at least on my site with this test. So the last one we're going to try today is Auto Optimize. Let's go to Plugins again and turn off Hypercache and turn on auto optimize to see if it can give Lightspeed a run for its money. Come back out to the site, refresh, make sure everything still works. And it appears to be working just fine. Let's run this one. Well, these results are definitely heading in the right direction. We've got a 38 for mobile and a 3.2 seconds, which is nearly half, nearly twice as fast as with no plugin installed. And on desktop, we have an 84 and a 0.9 seconds. So it's loading under one second with auto-optimize. That's pretty legit. So now we're gonna compare these to the reigning champion, which is Lightspeed Cache. So let's turn off auto-optimize and see if any of these can hold a candle up to Lightspeed. Lightspeed Cache is right here, activate that. Let's refresh out here to make sure everything still works. Works just fine. Let's open a new tab of PageSpeed Insights. And let's test Lightspeed Cache. And it gives us a 64 for mobile, 1.9 seconds. It's even a green circle for mobile, even though I'd like to get it below one second. Google seems to think that this is good. So that's great. And on desktop, we have a 92 and 0.6 seconds. So light speed just blows everybody else out of the water in this test. It didn't blow everybody out of the water in the last video. There's two others that were really, really close. You should check out that video. It's linked to in the card up above in the description down below but it did eke out a win in the previous video. So here are the overall results on the one screen from this video. This first one was no caching plugin installed. The second one was with W3 Total Cache. The third window is with WP Super Cache. The fourth window is with Hyper Cache. The fifth window is with Auto Optimize. And the last window is with Lightspeed Cache. And again, these are all the free versions. And we can see the load times at the bottom here. So with no caching plugin on mobile, 6.1 seconds. W3 landed at 3.6 seconds. Super Cache at 5.4 seconds. Hyper Cache at 7.7 .7 seconds. We went a little backwards in that one. Auto Optimize 3.2 seconds and Lightspeed Cache at 1.9 seconds. The only one that Google gave a green score for the load time on mobile is Lightspeed. Let's switch to desktop to see how those worked out. So on desktop, without a plugin installed, we started out with 2.1 seconds as our baseline. W3 Total Cache landed at one second. WP Super Cache, 1.8 seconds. Hyper Cache at 2.8 seconds, which again is going backwards. It's, it's slower again than the initial without a plugin installed, without a caching plugin. So that's not great. And Auto Optimize at 0.9 seconds, which is 
fast. That's the only other plugin that landed a green score for, for page speed. NWP light speed cache, 0.6 seconds. So light speed cache blew all these ones out of the water. In the next video I'm gonna do, I'm gonna test light speed cache against some other plugins, including Nitro Pack. And I think Nitro Pack might be able to outdo light speed. We're gonna see in that video. And also light speed cache functions best on a light speed server, which I didn't know initially, but now I do know that. And I don't have a light speed server. I'm a SiteGround, which is a regular server, regular non-light speed server. Hosting companies like A2 offer light speed servers, and it could make light speed cache even faster. So we're gonna have to try that out in a future video, especially if Nitro Pack beats light speed on SiteGround. We're gonna have to try light speed on A2 to see if it can then beat Nitro Cache again. By the way, 0.6 seconds is a pretty good load time on desktop. And 1.9 is pretty good on mobile. I like to be a bit faster, but that's what we get. And Google even gives it a green score. So it must be good enough for Google. And I have another video that builds on top of the light speed cache speed increase. It's one where we clean up assets that don't need to be loaded on pages, but do load. WordPress loads things everywhere, but you don't need to load them everywhere. So you can turn off individual things you don't need on specific pages, and that makes those pages load faster. So I've got that video in a card up above and the description down below. So make sure you check that out and check out the previous test we did where Lightspeed was going up against SG Optimizer, WP Rocket, and mm -hmm. WP Fastest Cache to see what the results were of that. I can tell you right now, the scores were much closer in this one and Lightspeed barely beat out two of the other ones. So check out that video. It's linked to in the card above and the description down below as well. And next up, check out this video right here, which is the one I referred to in this video, which was the originator. It's where I compared four plugins to see which one speeds up Elementor sites the most. And we found a winner, as you know, but we also found two others that were very, very close that you might want to look into. And that's part of my WordPress speed up playlist. So if you want a lot of videos and a lot of information on speed up WordPress, check out that playlist as well. You'll see it when you click on that video. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from the WP Learn Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it. And I will see you in the next video. Yeah.